Hey, bro. What is it? I can't even say because of the fucking sunlight. It's uh, pig farming in Australia. Living in their own excrement, dying. Factory farming, essentially. It's horrible, mate. But these animals are more intelligent than dogs. Yeah, right. Do you think we need to consume animals? Um, I don't know. Do you think we can like, live without it? I don't know about live without it, but there's probably like more humane ways to like farm them. What would that? What would that look like? Like, how would we humanely kill an animal that doesn't want to die? Ah, oh, you can't. You just shoot it without it knowing. Is that humane? Yeah. What if we put it in a different context? Like a dog, can I shoot a dog in the head without it knowing? Is that humane? Yeah. If, I, if I'm sparing its suffering or if it's... Yeah, as long as it's not your pet dog. If it's a wild dog, then sweet. What's the difference between a wild dog and a pet dog? Um, one is like a pest and it like kills you all your like farming or, or your chooks and shit. So because it's um, damaging your... Yeah. Yeah, but much. these animals aren't doing anything to... Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. They're making you money. So. Yeah. Does, uh, does the money we make from someone justify treating them this way? No, no way, but you don't have to treat them that way to do what they do. Yeah. But if, like, let's say we treat the animal really nicely. Yeah. What do you think What happen, What do you think about what happens in the slaughterhouse? Oh, once it's dead, like, it's free game, isn't it? Well, do, we, do you apply that in every other context? Like, I mean, to be morally consistent, would we say that, like, obviously you, you wouldn't think that would be humane for humans, right? What do you mean? Like, we can't, like, bolt gun oh, and slaughter They, they do. Throat. Like, you, when you die and you give your body to science, that's what they do. They hack Yeah, but you up. consent to it, right? Yeah. It's not against, this is not, con they're not consenting. Yeah, but an animal can't consent. That's right. And a child can't give consent. That's yeah, why that's we, right. That's why we look after them. We don't harm yeah. them. So not, not giving consent doesn't mean that that justifies us harming yeah. them, right? I'm just putting your, yeah, yeah, taking, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, taking no. what you're saying, putting yeah. it in different context. Yeah. Because what I've realized, I've, try, I've tried to think of a justification for this, just as a thought experiment. Yeah. And any justification I can think of, apply it in a different context, like human context or, you know, and it ends up being immoral, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we have to think of what trait between the humans and the animals justifies the difference in treatment. Yeah. Can you think of a trait that justifies it? Like justifies treating a pig this way for a hamburger but not a human? Humans do get treated like that. Way. Yeah, but you would say that's wrong, right? Yeah, but humans get locked up in cages too, bro. And you would say that's wrong, right? Yeah, but like I've been to jail, bro. So it's fucking. It, it is. You know. But jail's not. Jail's not slavery. You, you, if you hadn't done anything yeah, wrong and is. you were put in jail, that would be. An I was. Okay, well that's an injustice, right? Yeah. So. so you would say that's wrong. The world's not right, bro. And and, and does that mean that we should uh, cause yeah, a maximum amount of harm? No, it doesn't. You don't need to treat shit badly. That's right. And if we don't have to cause harm at all, why cause harm? And what does it boil down to for you personally? Like, is it taste? Is it what is it about oh, animal I, products? Well, I, do you think? I just think that um, like it's just a wholesome meal, eh? Do you think it's good? Uh, do you mean wholesome? What do you mean by wholesome? It's just like I, I can't find the same fulfillment with vegetables. You know what I mean? Have you tried plant-based meats before? Yeah, I have. Okay. I've, I had a bit of tofu here and there. Tofu is not plant-based meat. That's like a uh, tofu is just it's soy-based protein. Yeah, right. But it's not like there's Beyond Burgers, there's Impossible Burger, there's all these like products that people will try them and they can't even tell the difference. Yeah, right. Yeah, like uh, all of the fries up here, Burger Joint, yeah. uh, they sell completely vegan burgers with like Parmas, Schnitzels, yeah. but it's all made out of plants. Do you think yeah. that would be a better option if we could get you know the same texture and taste from plant-based products, avoid the yeah, cruelty. If, if you could get the same nutrients out of it. Do you, what nutrients do you think would be lacking? Beg your pardon? What nutrients would be lacking, do you think? Protein and carbs, probably. Where do you think protein originates? Oh, I don't know. In plants, because yeah. the animals we're consuming eat plants. Gorillas, yeah. rhinos, elephants, rhinoceros, huge animals. Yeah, all eating plants. Yeah, all eating um, plants. But yeah, so like, I know spinach is full of iron and shit like that, but yeah. Like, yeah. So do you think it's more your like idea of what vegan food is? Like do, when you think of vegan food you think like salads or something? Or? Yeah, or if there was vegan food more available, like, yeah, I don't like, yeah, like, you know, I don't really condone animals being treated and fucking like, you know, push through their own shit and stuff. So. Yeah, and that's what we're paying for and we're supporting them with our money when we buy those products, right? Like you could say you're against something, yeah, but, but if you fund every, it... Every farm's probably different though, isn't it? This Not is standard like, practice. But also that, that comes down to the ethics of killing someone against their will, yeah. which we've discussed and you said 
you know, that you basically thought it was wrong in different contexts. You were saying about, you agreed, yeah, but it'd be wrong to put someone in that situation, it'd be wrong to do that. But then I didn't hear you provide a justification for doing it to animals. Yeah, if they don't know they're getting killed, then I don't know. It's all, it's all right. Same as a human. If they're living a good life and they don't know they're going to die, then... Well, that would be considered murder, right? Yeah, it would if be. If I go up behind someone and shoot them in the head and they don't see it coming, yeah. would that stand up in court? Um, depends if you got caught or not. Okay, but would it be <laughs> would it be moral? No, it wouldn't be. No. So that's the situation, right? These animals, they we're killing them for an unnecessary reason. We really need to kill them. Why do you think it is? It's this well, is the, the, like if everyone was to turn vegan tomorrow, there wouldn't be enough vegan food to feed everyone. So true? it's, it's in, so it's well not true because we're feeding th uh, 56 billion animals plants. So not everyone's going to go vegan tomorrow. First of all, so it's going to be gradual. Yeah. So. That wouldn't necessarily be an issue, but let's say for thought experiments' sake that it did happen. But for me, so if I live in if I live in Midland, right, and it's twelve o'clock at night or ten o'clock at night, yeah. where do I get food that's vegan? Uh, lots of things are vegan. What do you like eating? What would you get at ten o'clock at night somewhere else? No, you, what, there's just millions of burger joints everywhere. Yeah, most burger joints do a vegan option these days. Yeah, uh, where, like where? Like, so like, I like, 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 like let me show. You. Let like, me show. You. Yeah, well, they don't have. They probably have a veggie patty, but Hungry Jack's is a vegan burger. So on here, this is places that basically either are vegan or have vegan options. And this is just some in Perth, okay? And uh, these are all products you can get from the supermarket that you can replace for dairy and eggs and meat. They're all made out of plants. And the thing is about animal flesh and animal products, they contain cholesterol. So they we what? They contain? contain cholesterol. So cholesterol clogs the arteries yeah. over time and leads to heart disease. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You can only get cholesterol from consuming animal products. Yeah. So by consuming plant-based products, you're eliminate, you're reducing your risk of heart disease significantly yeah. and other preventable diseases. So I'll give you this to look into. Yeah, for sure, man. And, uh, yeah, I have a case. and there's a bunch of documentaries and stuff on there. Yep. Yeah. Just watch the car coming, man. But yeah, most places do a vegan option. And I guess, like, let's say it is slightly more inconvenient, right? Yeah. Let's say, like, you've got to plan a little bit further ahead. Yeah. The reality is that when you put yourself in the animal's position, if yeah. it was you in that position, you'd want that person to take a little bit extra time yeah, for sure. rather than take your life, you know? Yeah. And what was it like being in that situation where you, where you were, put, if you don't mind me asking, like, put away against your will? Like, that must have been a pretty horrible feeling. Yeah, it was shit, man. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of got, probably got an understanding of what it's like to be caged up and locked yeah, away. But at the same, yeah, at the same time, bro, there's so many things wrong with the world, man. True, and, like, bro. And I don't think that, like, just eating meat alone is going to stop it, eh? So... But I suppose it can only help, but like it's not gonna. Yeah. So you can you can fight for every other injustice, right? Yeah. Against every other injustice, as well as eat plants. Like it doesn't stop you from doing anything else in your life. All it is is what you consume, what you wear. Like yeah. you can start thinking more about those products, right, and where they come from. But you as an individual, if you were just one person, might not make that much of a difference. But there's millions of people waking up to this every day. Yeah. So it's like, what side of history do you want to be on? You know. So, uh, how do you feel about like chucking a fishing rod into the like ocean and catching a fish? I think it's the fish doesn't want to die and it's unnecessary. So I can't find a moral justification yeah. for suffocating a fish and slitting their throat open. I mean, the thing is that scientists. So would you be comfortable like living off the land? In what context? What do you yeah. mean, loving off the land? So if like sh like if the world was going to shit tomorrow, um, would, could, could you would the like if. You couldn't go to Lord of the Fries, or you couldn't go to go get a vegan burger. Because, yeah. Like you know, like would yeah. you be able to go pick the right seat? Would you be able to, or would there be a party that would want to go catch a fish and eat it? Let me put it this way: like if I was in a, if we were in a survival situation, most morals like start going a little bit out the window. Like hum, humans eat other humans in those situations where there's That's no a food. Good argument, yeah, like yeah. think about zombie apocalypse yeah. in those movies. Like they kill each other, they do all sorts of crazy shit. But we wouldn't say that that justifies what we do in this society where we do have an option. Yeah. So true. like we have I'll pay that man. That's a good... <laughs> yeah, and, and essentially when we pay these products, we're paying a hitman to do the job for yeah. us, you know? Yeah. So in that context I would try, but yeah I'd probably die bro because I don't know yeah. how to like do that. No, I appreciate that answer. Yeah. Anyway bro, cheers Take to care, that, man. Thanks cheers. for the chat.